Hi friends, Traveling Geek here and finally this is the Nothing Phone 1. Uh, this is a black version because they sold majority of these units in black variant only in India. Why it was you know sold out like within minutes. Anyways, uh, today I'm going to talk about which charger is compatible with Nothing Phone 1. Well, Nothing also has their own dedicated charger which is a USB PD and also supports USB PD PPS which is programmable power supply up to 45 watts. I have also that one. I bought that one and fortunately I got, got it when it was in stock. Um, but I'm quite curious since this phone supports uh, Quick Charge 3, Quick Charge 4, Quick Charge 4 Plus as well as USB PD 3.0 and uh, USB PD I think PPS also. I'm not so sure about the PPS standard whether it's compatible or not but I think so it is compatible too because uh, it is asking 33 volt sorry because it is asking 33 watts and uh, usb pd uh, 33 watt is a bit a uh, different configuration anyways let's check it out so today i will show you my charging station over here let's keep the phone aside this is stuff cool's uh, universal fast charger station uh, this provides up to 100 watts uh, each type c port can give up to 100 watt and each type a port uh, can give up to 18 watts um, this is also compatible with usb pd 3.0 as well as usb pd uh, pps but under pps i think the maximum output each type c port can provide is only up to 45 watts and uh, this is my you know <laughs> uh, i mean total eight ports and uh, so many chargers are connected over here I wanted to do this on a, a spike guard but somehow you know each charger was not getting properly attached to it so I just thought you know let's do it over here itself. Uh, so here on top I have the Xiaomi's 27 watt uh, charger if you do remember this I know it's a bit difficult to focus on it. Let's see if we can focus. So as you can see this supports up to 27 watt max and this is their original uh 27 watt high speed charger which was launched along with the redmi k20 pro this is also fully compatible with uh, quick charge 3. Uh, the second option is xiaomi's massive hypercharge 120 watt charger this is a big one uh, this also supports quick charge 3 and i assume this also supports usb pd the reason behind is that because xiaomi is actually uh, promoting this specific charger as you know all-in-one charger and uh, one single charger can be uh, used for you know charging various uh, products like the laptops tablets power banks uh, their high-speed phones and this charger is also backward compatible uh, to 67 watts as well as 33 watts uh, and you know this 20 watt 22 watt 22.5 watt as well as the 18 watt standards xiaomi uh, provided in their various smartphone products uh, this one is a superbook charger uh, this is a realme's superbook charger and this is up to uh, 50 watts i don't know where i don't know where this is written yeah here it is yeah you can see here that it's 5 volt 2 ampere so 10 watt or 10 volt 5 ampere superbook so basically this is only giving 10 watts or 50 watt output so no point you know testing this specific charger because this is not even compatible with quick charge 3 and this last charger i seen many guys asking uh, query about this specific charger this is the 33 watt charger from xiaomi this is a 33 watt charger from xiaomi and uh, hopefully you can read here uh, this has a direct 33 watt mode so 11 volt and 33 watt uh, sorry 11 volt and 3 amperes you know which leads to 33 watt uh, this is also compatible with quick charge 3 i'm also curious about this specific charger over here then i have the stuff pools gan charger their original 65 watt napoleon gan charger sorry for this uh disturbances guys but there is some construction work going on around and I really can't stop that noise. As you can see that maximum output is 65 watt and this is also supported USB PD PPS and this is up to 45 watts. It also supporting PD 
so so many chargers over here and finally i have this uh, nothings charger it's a 45 watt usb pd 3.0 charger uh, it's very faint guys actually even by naked eyes i'm not able to read that very clearly so this supports 45 watt in usb pd 3.0 as well as usb pd pps so uh, let's check it out one by one right now my battery is at uh, just okay how much is the battery just one percent so i have plugged in the nothings usb pd charger over here and i'm using a very high quality 100 watt compatible uh, high speed charging as well as usb 3.1 compatible uh, type c to type c cable over here i'm just gonna start the charging and as you can see right now uh, the battery is at one percent so here i plugged in this is the standard charging sound and here we can see you know what output sorry what input uh, the phone is able to accept so right now it is going up to something like close to 23.56 watts okay it's not even 24 to 25 watts so i was expecting around 28 to 29 watts it's showing charging rapidly uh, let me just unlock the device and see if this drops the voltage yeah i mean as soon as i unlock the phone the voltage got dropped to around 9 watt it's pretty interesting just lock the phone again and it's going up so it's not even accepting uh, around 27 to 28 watts so i have stopped i'm still at three percent here okay so i have just plugged in the stuff pull can charger and i'm gonna connect the same cable over there and let's see it's charged to four percent it's showing charging rapidly and the phone is accepting around 24 watts in fact exactly 24 watt i don't know when the 33 watt gets uh, picked up. I mean, it should be at least 20 to 29 watt of input charge, but 24 watt, I don't get it because generally when you charge from 0% or 1% to 10%, that's this is the exact time frame when the you know the battery, the phone accepts you know, the highest wattage possible. Okay, let's check the next charger. I have disconnected this and i'm gonna use the supplied cable with 33 watt because this is a very special cable so switch on the 33 watt charger of xiaomi which is you know provided with various uh, xiaomi phones and this is very interesting that we are actually seeing a slight jump in the wattage it is up to 25.42 watt of input interesting now let's jump to the another charger before this reaches 10 watt so i have now plugged in this 120 watt charger with its original cable to the nothing phone one the battery is at six percent and so 25.16 watts very similar to what uh, xiaomi's 33 watt was charging so that's fine let's jump to another charger so now i have connected uh, this 27 watt original sonic charger from xiaomi which has 9 volt and 3 ampere configuration and this is a very special braided stuff cool cable which accepts up to 3 ampere of uh, power current 
just gonna start it charging on showing 8% charging but uh, rapidly okay let's see cool so this is also charging around 24.62 watt something like 24 and a half watts but not like 25 watts okay that's pretty nice so let's switch to the next charger which is a 100 watt charger from Stuffpool. So I have now connected the same uh, high quality 100 watt Type-C to Type-C USB 3.1 uh, high speed cable to the Stuffpool's 100 watt PD station, charging station and this is the only connection right now given and this is connected to my nothing phone one. The battery is at 9% I am just curious to see what's the output let's start this charger here it beeps charging rapidly instant and it is accepting slightly lower 23.47 okay it's not going up so it is stuck at 23.47 let's try again yeah it's not accepting more than that so now let's check with nothing's original cable as well as nothing's original charger i'm just gonna drain the battery a bit because it's all already at 10 percent so i will drain again to some seven to eight percent levels and i will test again so even now it is constant at 23.47 watts this is connected to the shower stuff pulls 100 watt PD charging station. So guys, this is the original cable which you received with the Nothing Phone 1. I'm just gonna start. The battery is at 8% now and we will see what's the uh, input we are gonna have. So I have just started and we can check the power input at 8%. It's showing charging rapidly and it's not even 24 watts. It's 23.12 watts. Now this is a bit funny. Uh, was actually expecting around 27 to 28 watt of input okay so i have just reconnected this uh, xiaomi 33 watt charger to the uh, you know this instrument which reads the ray data i'm just gonna switch it on again and wanna check the inputs one more time it's it's pretty funny that you know the 33 watt charger from Xiaomi is actually able to give uh, up to 24 watts or 25 watts max to max. So the conclusion is that you know if you actually want to use this specific charger that's a Xiaomi's 33 watt charger uh, which is also I think available at a very cheaper price. You can use this charger to charge your nothing phone one at a speedy rate I mean the same you know it's it's fully compatible up to 25 to 26 volts i think max uh, but the phone is not accepting anything beyond uh 25 or 26 watts i doubt about that it will accept i will still do uh you know a specific charging time stuff i will you know check the total charging time from 0 to 100 using the stuff cools gan charger this one because this also given around uh, 25 watt of input power to this phone I mean the phone accepted up to 25 watts this is giving I mean the phone is accepting around 24 to 25 watts from the Xiaomi's uh, 33 watt charger same thing about the 120 watt charger and almost same thing about this 27 watt charger so phone is not accepting 33 watt of input and this is also with their own origin I mean their own uh, charger they are not uh, things usb pd uh, ppa charger with 45 watt and their original cable which is supplied inside the box so guys thanks a lot for watching this video if you do like this video don't forget to click on thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe this channel more videos about nothing phone one uh, are coming on this channel so stay tuned and have a nice day Bye bye